Example number 8, draw the shear and moment diagram for the beam shown in the figure. So as you can see here, we have a beam, a simply supported beam with the trapezoidal load over the span, AB. So lalagyan natin ito ng AB. Now, since this is a simply supported beam, so we have here two reactions at the hinge support. This is the AY and the AX. And here at the roller, we have one reaction, BY. Now, let us solve for the reactions at the supports. But what we are going to do is to compute for the result of the load. Now, so, meron akong previous na video uploaded na doon pinakita ko yung tatlong ways in order for us to compute for the reactions or ilalagay ko siya dito sa may description ng video na ta. Now, so doon pinakita kung uh, tatlong paraan in order for us to solve for the reactions of the support. So, ito yung first. No? Hinati natin into rectangle and triangle. And the other one is hinati ko siya into two triangles. And of course, yung isa ay gamit yung mismo yung trapezoid no? wherein doon ay in-apply natin si Barinus Theorem. Okay, so for the reaction of the rectangular load, no? so we have here the reaction 1 no? and this is just the area of the rectangle no? so if this has a length of 9 so this is 9 meters Yung area ng rectangle natin is 9 times the magnitude of the rectangular load. That's 10 kN per meter. So we have here 90 kN. For the resultant of the uniform dividing load here, no? which is so this one, and this is the area of the triangle. So kung itong part na to ay 10, no? So, if this is 30, meaning ito sa triangle, yes, 20. So, we have here 1 half, the base is 9, and the height is 20. And this is also equal to 90 kN. Now, for the distance, no? Um, dito ko siya ibibase sa B. Yung distance nitong resultant ng uniformly varying natin or the triangular load is just one third of nine so this is equal to three meters and for the distance of the uniformly distributed this is just half of nine so meaning this is 4.5 meters okay so let us solve for the reactions of the support if we are going to summate forces horizontal is equal to zero, taking the direction to the right as positive, then CEX is equal to zero kasi wala naman siya kalaban. And if we are going to summate moment at point B, this is equal to zero, taking the clockwise direction as positive. So AY will create a clockwise rotation. So we have our AY multiplied by the distance of 9 meters. This 90 kN here, the resultant of the rectangular load, uh, would rotate counterclockwise, so this is negative 90, multiplied by the moment arm, that is 4.5 meters. And this 90 kN here, which is the resultant of the triangular load, is also negative since it will rotate counterclockwise and it has the moment arm of 3 meters. This is equal to 0. So solving for the value of Ay, we have... So solving for the value of... Ay, we have 75 kN. So we have here 75 kN. Since positive bilang mabas sa sagot, meaning tama yung assumption natin that Ay is directed upward. If we are going to summate forces vertical is equal to 0, taking the upward direction as positive, then we have here the Ay, which is 75 kN, minus 90, minus 90, ito yung mga resultants ng load natin plus by is equal to 0. So, by is equal to 
180 minus 75. And that is 105. So we have here By is equal to 105 kilo newton. Since we already have the value of the reactions, we can now compute for the shear and moment function. No? But first, I establish natin. No? Uh, kakat natin siya dito. So that would be the segment AB. So for segment AB, it will represent the distance from 0 up to 9. So, ito yung mangyayari sa kanya. Magkakaroon tayo ng since this is 10, right? This is 10 kN per meter and this is and this is y. Hindi natin alam to. And this is x. Of course, we have the reaction at the support which is 75 kN. So, yun lang naman yung reaction natin. Okay. So, first thing na gagawin natin is to determine the value of y. No? So, by ratio and proportion, as you can see here, kung i-isolate ko yung triangle, this is the y, this is x, this is 20, and this is 9. So, by ratio and proportion, y is to x, 20 is the 9. So, y is equal to 20x over 9. So, this is the value of y. That's 20x over 9. Okay? So, magkakaroon ulit tayo dito ng dalawang resultants. No? So, yung resultant nitong rectangular load natin, that's 10x. Kasi this is 10 and this is x. And, of course, the resultants of the triangular load that is one half of xy because this is x and this is y. So later ko na to is substitute. Of course, since nagkatay dito, so we exposed the shear and the moment. Okay, so for the shear function, so for the shear function, we have here 75 minus 10x minus one half xy. So, shear is equal to 75 minus 10x minus 1 half x. And the y is 20x over 9. So, simplifying this, we have the shear is equal to 75 minus 10x minus 10x squared over 9. Okay? So, at x is equal to 0 and at x is equal to 9, so, i-determine natin itong gamit yung ating equation. So, we have 75 minus 10x minus 10x squared over 9. So, for x is equal to 0, we have here 75. So, shear at 0 is equal to 75 kilonewton. And shear at 9 so, half 9, we have negative 105. So, negative 105 kilo newton. And, of course, this is the equation for our shear. Okay. So, for the moment, we have moment is equal to 75 times x minus 10x. So, ito si 10x ay meron siyang distance papunta dito sa ating section which is half of the x so x over 2 so multiply by the moment arm x over 2 and this 1 half xy here so sinamplify natin si 1 half xy ay negative ay ito siya 10x squared over 9 so we have here minus 10x squared over 9 and the moment arm for this since this is a triangle so, the centroid is one-third of the base. That's x over 3. So, the moment arm here is x over 3. Okay? So, moment is equal to 75x minus 5x squared minus 10x cubed over 27. Now, let us compute for the moment at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 9. So, moment at 0 and moment at 9. 
Okay. So, we have here 75 x minus 5 x square minus 10 x cube over 27. So, calc 0 and we have here 0. Calc 9 and we have here 0. So, at x is equal to 0, the moment is 0. And x is equal to 9, the moment is also equal to 0. Now, our aim here is to compute for the value of the maximum moment. So, what we are going to do is to determine the value of x. No? So, what value of x where the shear is equal to 0? So, kukumpute natin yung value ng x na magpapa 0 sa ating shear. Kasi the location of the zero shear is the location of the maximum moment. So let this shear is equal to zero. Gagamitin natin dito yung equation ng shear natin. Minus 10 x minus 10 x square over 9. Shift solve equals and we have here 4.86. Seven. So we have here 4.867 meters. So yun yung test natin dito. 4.867 meters is the location of the maximum moment. So input natin sa equation natin, that's 75x. Dito naman yung gamit natin yung equation naman ni, ni moment. No? So we have 5x squared. Minus 10 x cubed over 27. So, half 4.867. And this is equal to 203.89. So, we have here 203.89 kilonewton meter. Okay? So, from this, I do drawing na natin yung ating shear and moment diagram. Ayan. So, for, so for the shear, we have at x is equal to 0, that is 75. So, this is 75. And at x is equal to 9, that is negative 105. So, kung makikita natin dito, this is a parabola facing downward, no? But, if we are going to validate this using the dyix, since the increasing yung ating load diagram, so therefore, ibibend natin yung x-axis and it is, no? A parabola facing downward. So, since nagbend tayo dito ng ating x-axis. Ayan. So, this x here, wherein this is the location of the zero shear, is equal to 4.867. So we have here 4.867. And of course, this would close kasi ang reaction natin at BY is 105. So ito si 105 ay close niya yung ating shear diagram. And this is now our shear diagram. Okay. For the moment diagram naman, so we have zero moment at x is equal to zero and zero moment at x is equal to nine. And the location of the zero shear is the location of the maximum moment. As you can see here, no? so we have here a cubic function. No? So, naka-cube tayo dito and it is negative. No? It is facing downward. But, kung i-validate natin sa dyix, here is decreasing. So, decreasing, bibend natin yung y-axis. And this is the y-axis, so bibend natin siya. And for this, we have increasing. So, increasing yung x-axis naman yung bend natin. And ito naman siya. Okay? So, for the degree of the curve, we have here degree 1. So, dito ay degree 2 siya. And of course, dito ay degree 3 na siya. So, the possible questions na So, the possible questions na sasagutin natin is the value of the maximum moment at So, 
So the value of the maximum moment in your answer here is 203.89. So this maximum moment here is equal to 203.89 kilonewton meter. And the maximum negative shear is 105 and the maximum positive shear is 75. For the location of the maximum moments, so that's 4.867. Dito na naman yung mga possible questions. Unless na maghingi siya sa atin kung ano yung value natin ng shear. Halimbawa, at x is equal to 2. So, at x is equal to 2. Ito yung shear natin kukunin natin. So, substitute mo lang dito sa equation natin yung 2 para makuha natin yung shear natin dito sa 2. For the value of the moment naman dito sa x is equal to 2, so substitute mo lang din dito sa equation ng moment natin. Then, we would have our moment at x is equal to 2. So, for the next uh, video, I isusolve natin itong problem na to using the area method.